Hi loves! Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video. So a lot of you have been wanting me to do a flip through of my TM passports and that is what we're going to do today. That's why you're looking in this corner because this is where I keep my TM passports. I only have two and I love them so much. So well let's first off because I know I'm going to get questions. This is my little um, fountain pen case but on top of it I have my passports um, and also this cute little bear um, this I got on Etsy it is the manual factory bear and this is a traveler's company pen and this is from Susie over on Instagram can you believe she made this it's the cutest thing um, so I'll link everything below because I know I'm gonna get questions but yeah he just watches over my TM passports like that it's so cute um, I will link my little storage system down below in the description box if you're interested. Um, if you have any questions about any of these, just let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can get a link. But anyways, back to the point of this video. Yeah, we're going to do a flip through of these. So we're going to start off with this one. I think um, just a little overview on what they are and why I have two. This is the one that I honestly bring with me whenever we travel. So like far away so whenever um we go i don't know somewhere for a long time this is the one i bring with me it has all my necessities except for this insert this one is not really necessary to have for me usually that's like a monthly which i'll go over later on but for the most part this is how i would bring it with me um if you know we were to go anywhere and then this is my olive tn which this one i don't bring anywhere really i wish i that i did i think i tried to but um the purpose of this one was for my summer travels and you know this summer every time we would go anywhere there was just like no downtime so I think I brought this one with me for one of the trips and I didn't even get to journal and I just kind of like knew that all the other trips that we were going to be doing over the summer there was just no downtime to journal so I never really brought it with me on any of those travels um, but the insert in here is full and you know I would journal once we get home and yeah so that's just what that one is so anyways let's go ahead and flip through these I'm going to start off with this one the chunky chunkiest one even though this one honestly the insert is very very chunky there's only one insert in here in a folder so i mean you can see the chunk i'm so excited so let's go ahead and flip through them all right so this is my camel passport and i just love it uh i've had this set up for a while i think i did a full video I am thinking of taking the train, the, not train, uh, the airplane off just because it's kind of, I don't know, it's cumbersome. I don't know. I guess, I guess prefer this one, I think. Um, having two is a little too much in my opinion. So yeah, I'm thinking of taking the plane off. But anyways, everything on here is Traveler's Company, you know, all the little charms and the clip. And this bear I always get questions on. It is just a little um, patch. And the patch that I got already had an adhesive in the back of it. So I just stuck it on and it's been there since day one. <laughs> so I'll link it below. Anyways, this is the plain clip. Super cute. I love these clips. I do use it, by the way. I, it doesn't just stay there for decorations. Okay, so flipping through... This is what it looks like when you first open it. A photo of my son, a school photo, and then this is the first little section right in here. So I shared this with you guys. I added one of those, um, what's it called? Like the, I stuck it in there into the folder so it's not going anywhere. And this holds my pen, obviously. And I, as you saw, I had stickers in there. I have a little pin here with the airplane that's from Traveler's Company as well. And um, my little pencil board here. This is the 2022 pencil board. This cute little sticker from Raspberry Designs. And this is just uh, an empty one right now. And this is really where I do my grocery list. I used it one time. <laughs> but... It's mainly for notes if I need to write down something quick. 
Okay, so this is the big insert right here, but before we flip through that, I just want to share with you this little section here. This is just, I forget what this is called. It's the one by Traveler's Company as well. I, I really wanted to get the ones on Amazon because, you know, it's way cheaper, but knowing me, I would, I just want, you know, the real Traveler's Company item, um, so I went for this, and yeah, I just, there's always some type of cash in the back, um, it's just small but important details, and this is my sticker release, I like to have stickers on the go, so that's what's back there and now this is the insert i'm so excited to share this with you guys um this is my florida insert this is the last time we went anywhere far um and it was such a good trip we went to disney so i did a whole vlog if you're interested in watching that i'll link it below but let's go ahead and flip through this mm, i love how this turned out it's so simple yet so fun, right? So there you go. Day one. I do make these stickers to go um, with my spreads. And then I use a lot of card stocks, um, ephemera, some little stamps here and there. And then I did like blobs of ink splatters just for fun. And of course, the hotel keys. Definitely, you know, saved those. And like I even saved the like little brochures that you would get and I cut out stuff like that. Oh my gosh, such a fun trip you guys. I really hope to go back with the boys. Liam loved it. He loved it so much. So yeah, I really try to play with colors and just really make it fun because you know it was a fun trip and you know disney and everything and i think one of you actually told me to put this sticker here and it just went so well because this is when we ate at the beauty and the beast castle so yeah beauty and the traveler i just thought that was perfect thank you to whoever suggested that so much fun yeah like i said i kept the brochures and Cut stuff out. Oops, when I can. Yeah, use some scrapbook paper here and there. I like how I can make these inserts chunky and it's okay. Um, compared to my uh, memory keep, you know, it, it's hard to make that one super chunky like this one. Um, so yeah, and by the way, this is a full insert, I believe. Um, last time I did a half, the half inserts, and it just wasn't enough room. Like, I learned. I mean, I made it work, but I just knew this time around I want a full insert because I wanted to print all the photos and keep all of the little souvenirs. We're coming to the end of it but just so much fun again i do have a vlog for this trip and that's it so there was still some pages here in the back that i didn't get to use um but that's okay so yeah that's that's this insert and it's just so much fun and i will be of course when the time comes you know for our next trip i'll, I'll take this out and put a new insert in but for now it is living in my tn passport and camel because I mean I just I love it and I do love looking through it too and so does my son Liam loves looking through all of my journals because he likes all the photos and you know helps him remember things too which is really cool so that is my TN passport and camel now let's look at the olive one again this is my summer like adventures insert um also these are from Hot Topic. Um, I believe it was either a necklace or a bracelet. I don't quite remember, but I just took the charms off of it and then I put on the elastic and there you go. I just think it's so cute. You guys know me. I love Ghibli and Totoro and like I have a little soot <laughs> right there. So, okay. <sighs> so this one... 
this is how it is it's just one insert and then i have the clear like folder and i just have photos and some these are post-its like the the blue bear those are actually little post-its and then i have an ink blotter stickers and this is a patch from hot topic it's a sailor moon one and see let's go on a road trip i thought this was perfect I knew this summer that we were gonna, you know, do a lot of things nearby, like driving just to different towns and cities and whatnot. So I thought this insert was perfect. I'm thinking of doing another one for fall and winter, even though I don't think we're, we have a lot of plans, but we do have like, you know, a few things for the fall time. So I might do one, I'm not sure. Um, and then yeah, in the back I just have more like washi and stickers and I have some stamps in there too and some cash, of course. I always have cash in these um, for some reason, I don't know. So anyways, yeah, this is the insert. You can get this in Traveler's Company. I have a few of them and I think they're so much fun. So I mainly started this um, in May, I think it was. Um, so that's that for my title page. I do need to write like 2023 up here or something. I just didn't because I wasn't sure if I was going to fill it up for this for this summer. Um, yeah, but I ended up, you know, doing so. So this is just 2023. So I can't wait to put in 2023 on top. And this is our first trip in May 28th or April, right? No, was it May? January, February, March, April, April 28th. Um, so right after uh, spring break. This is our little first trip. And then this is the pen show in Chicago. This is that weekend in May 6th. I wish I took more photos, but I did vlog a little bit, so that's good. Such a fun day. Lots of photos. And lots of family time too this summer, which is good. And this is the Oshkosh uh, spring event that they do every year. And then our first trip to Fish Creek. Um, if you've never been to Door County here in Wisconsin, Fish Creek is one of the best places to visit in the summertime and fall. They do have a lot of fall things too. So yeah, it's like my favorite place. It's just so chill and the vibes are always so great. Lots of things to see and do, so, yeah. And then, this is uh, when school got out for Liam. We took him to so many different places as just, like, celebrate that it's summertime, you know? And then this was the girls' trip to Chicago. And then we did the Supernatural convention. Lots of photos. <laughs> I printed so many, I could barely write anywhere. So much fun. Of course, I have photos of Liam when I FaceTime with him. So fun, you guys. That was a fun little convention. And then these are all the tickets. Look at these. I, oh my gosh, I can't even. I. It's like I wish I would have just gone to the Taylor Swift concert because of the amount of money I ended up spending anyways, but it's okay. This was like a one-time thing. And also, it was so hard to get the Taylor, Taylor Swift tickets, so whatever. <laughs> I'm still salty that I didn't get to, to go to the Eros concert, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, um, this is when we went to Madison. Um, Tom's brother's wedding. Kept the... Uh, the hotel keys which key is this oh this is the key for the um the supernatural convention okay and then this is the hotel key for madison there we go and then this was on our way home and then i feel like um this is when the summer summer really began if that makes sense i don't know that's just kind of what i did here so Liam still had like summer school in June. I think that's why I was like, okay, July is when summer really begins, right? So I did this like tra travel bucket list, which I, we actually did do, do and went to all of these places. So yeah, 
went strawberry picking and then July 4th in Sturgeon Bay. And then we went to Pictured Rocks with my parents. I love that we got like the tickets and everything. And then the hotel key. Of course, more photos. And then this is when we went to Washington Island with Tom's side of the family for the day. That was so fun. And then um, Whitefish Dunes. Kept a little receipt here for parking, but like, how cute. I did get these um, stickers, like, like these, at, um, you know, the souvenir shops. I think I had one for here to the yeah, Richard Rocks right there. So yeah, I like to add those in when I can, or if I can find them at the souvenir places. I just try to get like the smaller ones, because usually they're still massive. Um, more little trips here and there with family. Oh yeah, I tried to use a lot of my um, ephemeras because I have a ton in my collection that I haven't been using. See, like little stickers like that. This is our um, trip up north. This is Houghton Hancock. I just shortened them. <laughs> yeah. So fun little trips even like you know to um, certain towns nearby I have them in here um, you know just like adventures and whatnot back to whitefish dunes my favorite so much fun and then this is our last trip I believe was to sister bay yeah and then this is just like the rest of the tickets from Pictured Rocks. I didn't know what to do with it because I had everyone's tickets, so I just kept it in there. And that's it, you guys. Oh my goodness. Isn't this such a fun little insert? Look, look how chunky that got. Because towards the end, I was like, let me use up all of the um, ephemera that I have and just the, what's it called? The hotel keys and everything too makes it pretty chunky, so... Yeah, that's it, you guys. Oh my goodness. How fun are these inserts, right? I just, I love them and I will for sure, you know, try to continue doing things like this in the future. So that wraps up this video, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing my TM passports and what the inserts looks like. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I'll be glad to help with whatever it is. Um... But yeah, I will try to list and link everything in the description box though, so definitely check that out. Um, I'm really excited to start new inserts for this, um, even though I'm not sure if we're doing a whole lot this fall just because my son's now back in school, but I'm hoping that we do even like little trips like how we did in the summertime, even like to nearby places. Um, you know, I hope we do a few things here and there. Um, we don't really do much in the winter time because it gets so cold out here. Um, but yeah, like I said, I hope we do certain things and, you know, I can journal about them and make a new insert um, for fall and winter. But yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. So anyways, all right, I'm blabbing. Thanks again for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And, you know, it helps me know that you like these type of videos and to do it more often. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you all soon in my next video.